Zoanthids are small, colorful, anemone-like animals that are common in shallow tropical and subtropical waters. They are usually found on coral reefs, rocky reefs, rubble, sand, or mud. They can also live on animals like sea fans, sponges, and black corals, often smothering their host animals. Some live in the deep sea, near methane seeps, or in underwater caves. They can be found singly, but usually live in colonies spreading over surfaces. Some overgrow exposed rock, while others live partially buried in soft substrate. The individual polyps are typically connected to their neighbors by common tissues containing channels that link their digestive cavities. Aside from a few exceptions, they do not secrete a hard skeleton. Each polyp is typically around a half inch to one and a half inches across, with two rows of tentacles. Colonies vary in size, but they are sometimes several feet in diameter. Zoanthids capture planktonic organisms and detritus with their stinging tentacles. They may also gain nourishment from nutrients produced by symbiotic algae that often live within their tissues. The algae is called zooxanthellae. The sting from their tentacles is too weak to harm humans or deter predators. To protect themselves, their bodies and connective tissues are often tough and leathery. Many species are filled with embedded sand grains. Many zoanthids are sensitive to touch and close tightly when disturbed. Some species contain a potent nerve toxin for further protection. Their bright colors may serve as a warning to their toxicity. Hawaiian warriors used to smear their spear tips with zoanthid mucus before battle. Wounds from these spears were usually fatal. Animals that eat zoanthids, such as some crustaceans, can tolerate their poison. Zoanthids are commonly displayed in reef aquariums. They reproduce both by budding and the direct release of eggs and sperm into the water. Some zoanthids can emit a greenish glow at night. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.